late June on a foggy, misty morning. Four Blue Jay pairs are situated in these woods. They've come together to raise their newly fledged and rapidly growing fledglings. For the first week or so after their babies fledged, each of these families was alone. As they ventured further out into the surrounding territory, the pairs inevitably met up. The goal of these parent birds is to bring the babies around the area, allowing them to get familiar with their surroundings and other baby jays. This is important because in roughly one to two months, these fledglings will be on their own, relying on each other for protection from predators and finding food sources. For now though, they are under the wing of their experienced parents. This veteran pair, Blue and Sweet Girl, have raised at least 10 successful broods over the last decade. Feisty J has raised four. For his new young mate, Nova, this is her first. Snowy and her mate, Webster, have raised a few, and Squacky has raised five. With so many experienced eyes on lookout, the fledglings have a good shot. Feisty J sounds an alarm. A couple of crows have come by. Thankfully, they don't care to stick around. Back to business, which means letting each other know their place within the flock. Or being chased by their youngsters. The incessant screeching of the fledglings seems to not even bother the parents who ignore them with ease. By late afternoon, it is pouring down rain. After a decent rainfall, pools of water form. Sweet Girl helps herself to a nice refreshing drink. The rain has also brought some flying ants that have landed now. Snowy is quick to take advantage. As she collects and prepares them, her babies remain well hidden in the trees. Several trips are made. An opportunity like this won't come again until next summer. Webster, Snowy's mate, hasn't been seen in a while though. It turns out that he caught a terrible sickness and is now preferring to remain hidden while resting. His offspring try going to him for food, but he is just too ill and unable to care for them. He has done all that he can do. The hardships of wild birds. With the rain over, just about everyone takes a break to preen and dry their feathers. When the sun peeks through, it's time to soak up the sun rays.
Ah, these are the moments they've been waiting for. While the parents relax, the fledglings explore around. There's so much to see and do. Isn't long before one of Blue and Sweet Girls and a couple of Feisty J and Novas find pools of water to play around in. All that exploring sure works up an appetite. Nova feeds one of her little ones. Feisty J prepares some food for another. Snowy takes advantage of a nearby feeder, bringing back a peanut for one of hers. Blue searches around for food while Sweet Girl stays on lookout. But for Squawky, well, he's more preoccupied with cashing peanuts away. You can never be too prepared. Much of the day consists of feeding the little ones and being on lookout. Good thing too, because Snowy spots something potentially threatening to the fledglings. She sounds the alarm. It's not long before there's an uproar. It seems that a neighborhood cat has decided to walk through the section of woods they are in. This isn't tolerated. All the adults band together to drive the cat out. Phew, good thing these fledglings have such dedicated parents. Especially that Snowy who seems to be up on it all. Although Webster could not help in the end, it is because of his hard work in the beginning when they were in the nest that they've gotten as far as they have. Maybe one of his little ones will live on for many years, passing Webster's gene on to his own fledglings. 